In granular cell or type of amyloblastoma, the granular appearance is due to which of the following content of granules. So amyloblastoma is the second most common odontogenic tumor of the oral cavity. It, the first being odontos. In that also it is compound that is more commonly co found as com compared to complex. Second thing about compound Odontum that you need to remember is it is now considered to be a hamartoma and it is not a true neoplasm. However, the debate is still going on. Coming to aminoblastoma, aminoblastoma is one of the most common types of tumors. It's actually the second most common tumor, odontogenic tumor. And when you actually go to the surgery or the unit, OT unit, you will actually see that there are so many patients who come to you with amyloblastoma and the number keeps on increasing and it is very, very common to see this. Amyloblastoma as such has a variety of histopathological uh, variants based on how they appear under the microscope and it is not compulsory that every part of the amyloblastoma has to appear common. One part of the tumor may show one variant and the other part may show another variant. So when it comes to amyloblastoma, what you need to remember is there are certain very key features that are common to all the variants of amyloblastoma. And these variants are, you will have these tall columnar cells with a basement membrane. The columnar cells will have a nucleus that is away from the basement membrane. In most situations, the cell is like this where the nucleus is placed closer to the basement membrane. However, this reversal of polarity is seen in amyloblastoma where you have the cells which are placed away from the basement membrane. Another situation where you have tall columnar cells with the nucleus placed away from the basement membrane is in OKC which is now again considered to be a cyst. In between it was considered to be a neoplasm but in 2017 which is the latest WHO classification you need to remember this that the 2017 is the latest WHO classification on odontogenic tumors. OKC as well as amino OKC is considered to be a cyst again and they also show, the, show these tall columnar cells with reversal of polarity of the nucleus. This is the most common feature and they show amyloblastoma amyloblast like cells. Okay, now coming to your conventional amyloblastoma, which is called the follicular amyloblastoma, they show these cells with the nucleus and in between the cells you have what is called as stellate reticulum like cells. In most instances, this stellate reticulum like cells which is present within the follicle will undergo cystic degeneration and you may see a completely empty vacuole over there. So the cells are arranged in follicles. Most of the variants are arranged in follicles except the two variants, these two variants being the plexiform as well as the desmoplastic. The plexiform amyloblastoma is considered to is basically why is it called plexiform because they represent a plexus of veins so this is how it is so you will have these cells again tall columnar cells the amount of stellate reticulum see because there is very little space between the cells the amount of stellate reticulum like cells is going to be very minuscule the last one is the desmoplastic amyloblastoma in desmoplastic amyloblastoma it is the connective tissue as well as the amyloblastoma like cells which have undergone some form of malignant change so the connective tissue undergoes desmoplasia because of which it appears very glass like and your cells of the amyloblastoma are arranged like a kite tail this is how they will be shown so this kite tail appearance is very characteristic of desmoplastic amyloblastoma long ago it was considered to be a different variant now it is not a different clinical variant and it was considered to be one of the most important classifications of amyloblastoma but now desmoplastic is also considered to be a clinical sorry a histopathological variant of amyloblastoma coming to your question when it comes to granular cell one key very important feature that you need to remember about granular cell amyloblastoma is the fact that it has a very high recurrence rate this high recurrence rate has been attributed to the granules that are present and at the same time one more variant of amyloblastoma which has a very high recurrence rate is basal cell variant of amyloblastoma coming to the image over here you see that there is a nucleus the cell is over here with the nucleus but the cytoplasm appears very granular see over here it appears very granular it is not like the cells which you where you find elsewhere where say for example see these are your stellate reticulum like cells okay and this is another follicle which has shown you the tall columnar cells okay so this is the stellate reticulum like cells now coming to this particular area so this entire thing is one follicle where you have the tall columnar cells you have the stellate reticulum like cells and you also have the presence of these 
very typical variants where you have a cell with the nucleus and you have a very granular cytoplasm. So this granular cytoplasm that you see over here is made up of purely lysosomal aggregates and these lysosomes are have been shown or have been said to be responsible for the high recurrence rate of granular cell type of amyloblastoma. 